Jane, it's so lovely to see you again. How are you? I'm very good, Seth. How are you? I'm hanging in there. Have your last few months been okay? They haven't been any different. <laughs> You're someone just, who stays at home? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, you know, we basically, we walk the dog. I cook all the time. We don't have that many restaurants around here. Well, we really have no restaurants around here now. So our life isn't that different. Have you, uh, do you have enough skill as a chef to not sort of repeat uh, things over and over again, or is that all right? I've been cooking for 44 years, pretty much two, if not three meals a day. If oh, I'm well, not. there you go. <laughs> you were ready then. I'm uh, sick of it. I'm so sick of it. Anyway. Well, I, have you ever thought about retiring? Because my mother-in-law, uh, before I even met her, uh, retired. Just woke up one day and said, I'm, I'm not doing it anymore. We'd starve. Yeah. There's, there's, there's no takeout, really, to speak of. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, we don't eat rabbit. <laughs> we have tons <laughs> of rabbit. We don't eat rabbit. Yeah. Um, the chipmunks ate my tomatoes. We'd starve. Well, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, that's good to know. You, yeah. um, your new uh, uh, show, United We Fall, uh, you play someone who moves in with her son and her grandchildren. Mm -hmm. I mean, based on the way you're singing your praises as a chef, it seemed like they would be very happy if you moved in with them, yes? In, well, your, in real not, life. Well, in real life, my, my, my daughter and her family, I think, would really like me to move in. I think that <laughs> we'd all have a good time. I think they'd like my husband to move in, too. I, I think we'd all <laughs> like to live together. It's sort of, uh, we like each other. They warn you about, uh, they warn you against, I should say, working with children. How did you get along with the children in your cast? Oh, I've always liked walk, working with kids. I, I like really? kids a lot. Oh, yeah, yeah, I like them. Um, I, I like working with kids. I like working with dogs. I love working with monkeys. I really like working with monkeys. Really? Monkeys <laughs> is, um, ma the few times we had monkeys on the set at SNL, I was very uneasy, but you enjoy it. I, yeah, I find them fascinating. I worked with a two-year-old chimp once. And my daughter was two at the same, at this time. And, and we were taking a break and the chimp was playing on the staircase. And the chimp was playing the same games that two-year-old plays. It was so interesting to watch. We had a spider monkey on Third Rock and um, this guy was just so well-trained and you, did, you know, he didn't want to play. So his, I was talking to his trainer and his trainer said, so uh, you like monkeys? I said, yeah, yeah, I like all animals. And he said, have you ever met an orangutan? I said, no. And he said, do you want to? And I went, yeah. And he said, come with me. So we went out to the trailer that the, the animals came in. And he said, go on in. And I walked in, and there's an orangutan sitting on a sofa, kind of like. <laughs> and the guy said, go on, sit next to him. And I, I sort of went over, and I sat next to the orangutan. And the orangutan looked at me and went. <laughs> just hugged me. Oh, wow. It was just, he just hugged me. He just wanted that to hug is, me. Uh, that's as good an ending you could hope for uh, in a yeah, story where a guy tells you to get into a truck with a weird monkey. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of times there's no orangutan in the van. That's just, uh, oh, that's when you realize stop. you've made a mistake. I tell you, they go go in and look at the orangutan. Next thing you know, the van door closes. That's the last thing. No, 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 no. That's only if it's a white panel truck. You're right. I'm sorry. I've been misleading. Yes. Yeah. Uh, the yeah. last time we saw each other uh, was a really uh, fun, emotional night because we were, it was the SNL 40th and we were yeah. at the update desk together. Yeah. Everybody who went back that night had to work through some stuff to be back in 8H. Uh, how was it for you? I, it was, um, I had gone to a couple of the rehearsals and um, because I like to get a sense of place. So I would go to the rehearsals early and just sort of sit up in the bleachers and get a feel for what it was like and what was going on and what the vibe was. And people would come up and talk to me, which is people I'd never met before, which was just great, just so friendly. And so I got a feel for it. and wasn't so scary. The scary part of, of 8-H was getting out. It was always getting out. Because when we were there, there were crowds that would, you know, gather down 
Sure. Below. And and a couple of times, you know, we had cars to take us home, and a couple of times, you know, you'd be getting into the car, and people would charge and get into the car with you, and and you had no, you know, you didn't know how to deal with it, and so the driver would have to be pulling these people out. So there was this thing about getting out that was always the problem. Uh, I think that speaks to the fact that obviously the show is still incredibly popular. Uh, you know, I'd like to think it was popular when I was there, but it was never quite what it was when it new. first started. Because, I mean, that, like, people, like, banging on the car, like, what you're talking about, I think, is very unique to that first cast and, and the sort of institution that SNL was to New York at the time. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we were, we were a phenomenon. We were, we were very sort of rock and rolls, which was very attractive and counterculture and, and television was changing. I mean, just look at the, the way we looked was, was different. You didn't see people like that on television very often. And, um, you, you know, so it was a phenomenon and people wanted a part of it. People wanted to be there. People wanted to say, you know, I was around the, the vibe. I, I felt the energy 